we're having an issue where the lower tailgate actually gets stuck when you're pressing the button on top of our LR4. So I bought the parts, the, uh, the actuators to fix it. And I'll post a link in the description below of the parts that I use to actually fix this issue. Um, on LR3s, it was common for the upper tailgate. And it can also be common on LR4s uh, for the upper tailgate to uh, get stuck. And I'm actually not having that issue right now. Um, but I'm having the lower, uh, the lower tailgate get stuck. Um, and I'll show you uh, what's going on here in a second. So we're here at the back of the LR4. Um, so when we press this button right here, you can hear that it kind of struggles uh, to open. And it'll get stuck sometimes. Well, of course it doesn't do it now. There we go. So it'll struggle to open um, sometimes. And... Uh, so we have to get this uh, this back carpet panel off right here, and the actuators are actually underneath here um, that actuate these little uh, lockers right here. So we'll have to remove um, the cables right here and right here, and then we'll have to remove this trim piece and then these side pieces. So for the first step, we need to remove these uh, cables that hold up the tailgate. And what I did is I stuck some towels underneath. And to remove this, you're gonna have to pry up this clip on the end and remove it, and this should just pop off. For the next step, we'll have to remove the little caps that are over these screws and I did it by getting a pick and just picking uh, the little cap off and it'll come off with some work uh, they're not too difficult just use a little uh, pick tool alright so there were four screws one right here one right here one right here and one over here at the end uh, that we took out with our uh, screw gun. And then there's two clips that you need to pry up. Uh, one right here, which this is the plastic piece that we just pried up, uh, which is that clip. And then one over here right next to the button, which is right there. So once we pried those up, we just lifted off this plastic piece. Just like that and that's the step you should be at right now so the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the little ball that the the cable was attached to and to do that you're just gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench and it just unscrews so the next step is there's a bunch of little connectors here and you can just lift up and they should pop loose and then you'll take this plastic uh, piece off right here and we have underneath there is where the actuators are that we need to get to. All right, so our next step is we need to peel up this adhesive uh, foam that they have covering um, right here. And you can just gently peel it up and you can reuse this. Um, also, I'll put the link to the description, or uh, the link in the description below of the part um, that you could order uh, for this if you just want to replace it. And so we're gonna replace this actuator right here. Okay, so to remove the actuator um, in here, you're going to, there's possibly on some of your cars, there might be a foam piece right here. So there's gonna be a bolt underneath this side, which I've removed. You're gonna be have to peel up this side. There's gonna be another bolt and then a third bolt on the outside uh, right here. Um, so you have to remove all three of those and then your actuator should pop off inside. All right, so in my hand I have the replacement part. Um, it looks exactly the same right here. And 
there's the part number right there, and it's a Land Rover part. Um, so we're just going to install it in the reverse order. I'm going to stick it in there, put the connector in, and then put the three bolts on the outside through. So let me do that, and I'll come back All in right, a second. So now we got the uh, three bolts back in, and these are a T40, um, just for your reference. Uh, all three of them back in, and we got the actuator plugged back up, and let's test it out and make sure it works. Okay, seems to work, and we're good on this side. So we'll just button it up, and we'll be good to go to the next side. All right, for the next side, we're going to remove, there's a subwoofer that goes right here. You remove those uh, bolts and lift it out. There's two connectors, one on each side, right here and right here. And then your other actuator is right there. This really gives really good access to this one. Uh, so this one should be much easier than the last. And then you can see right there, there's where the, uh, the little button goes. Um, so if you ever have to replace the, uh, the little button, you just remove the subwoofer right here and then pop it out and put a new one back in. All right, so now that we got the old one out, this is the old one in my hand, uh, be careful not to mix them up. Uh, we're just going to pop it out and let me get the new one. New one's the same part, and we verified that. We're just going to pop it back in, and it's the same order as the last actuator. There's three bolts. You're going to make sure you plug it back in. And uh, so on these, I didn't explain in the last one, there's a little square uh, pin that will fit into that hole right there. And they line up really easily when it's uh, closed, when you don't press the button. It should just slide right in. All right, so now we have the actuator back in, and we tested it, and they're not making a weird noise anymore, and they they seem to be working much better. Um, so we're going to put the subwoofer back in this place right here, and then we'll put all the bolts down, um, and then we will button it back up. All right, so now that we have all the bolts in, we're going to tighten them up all the way around. And we'll put the back panel back on. That's what I'll show you next. Um, is the back panel back on? And we'll start doing the reverse of what we did in the beginning. All right. So now we have the cover back on. Uh, we're going to need to screw these little the balls that hold uh, the cables on. So just thread them in there. It doesn't matter what side they go on. And then let me get the other one here. And that one's going to go on that side. And then I'll get my 13 millimeter wrench and tighten them up. And then after that, we're going to take the cables and put them on. And they just need to be snug. And then you'll take the cable. All right, so we're taking the cable. We're just pulling it down. And then you'll have to uh, pull up on your tailgate just a little bit. And after that, you just have to get some, you have to get some pliers or a pick or something and pull uh, this latch down. right there. So we'll put it down into the middle where it belongs. And I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. So I'm getting the cable and I'm going to pull it down. There we go. All right, the last thing we got to do is we got to put this trim piece back on here. Um, I'm just going to take one of my cloths and just wipe up underneath it. So we'll take our trim piece and put it back on. We'll 
we'll line it up and we'll press down where the two uh, retainers were first. This little wax left over. And then we'll put those four screws in and we're done. All right, so the last step to this, uh, for the sake of the video, I removed uh, the cover that was right here. Um, I have a new one, and the part number is right there, EOT 5013. Um, so that's the cover that replaces this one, and you'll stick it down just like it came down, or came out. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now, and that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, a lot of these you can just uh, peel up and uh, put back down, but for the sake of this video, I just went ahead and bought a new one. I think it's like it's maybe like $16 uh, for a new one of these uh, sticky vapor barrier covers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in right now. All right, so now that we have uh, we have the four screws in, we put the caps back on. Uh, we're all done, and just to double check, opens like it should. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun fixing the car uh, for a third of what the dealership cost uh, would be. Um, I'll put all the parts that I used and tools that I used in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just put them down in the comment section. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions for videos, put them down in the comments. I'd be uh, glad to entertain uh, things to fix or make videos on. Thank you. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead